All right, you guys, this is your crossbody crunch or sit up, just depending on the range of motion you use. I'll show you both in this video. So you're gonna get into your regular sit up position, just face up. Now remember our regular cues for sit ups or crunches are, we're going to rotate our hips from here into our body so we've got the contraction already started, our core is nice and activated. Remember we're not pulling with our neck, we're not trying to work on getting a migraine, we're working on getting a core, core six pack abs, right? So no pulling with the neck, we want to think of these muscles across the core here as just contracting tight, really focusing on that contraction, and because they're connected to our upper body, when we contract them, it's going to move our upper body to our lower body. That's what we want to focus on, is right here, moving our upper body to our lower body. Now, if it's just a crunch that you're going to do in your program, you're going to, uh, you know, again, think of that cue of our rib cage rotating to, into our belly button. It's a full sit-up, which actually this is more a three-quarter sit-up. You don't do a full sit-up in this move, but it is a little bit more than a crunch when you do the sit-up version. Um, then you're going to um, think of the, the actually bringing your chest up to your legs, okay, um, through that core activation. So with the cross-body crunch, we're going to cross our leg over one over the other, and we're going to take the opposite side. So if it's my left leg that's crossed over top of my right leg, then it's going to be my right upper body that's going to cross over my body into a crunch or into a sit-up. So I'm going to stretch my arms nice and wide. That's one of the cues to help us quit pulling with our neck is to have our chest open, peacocked up, much like when we're in a, a squat. Um, we also want to make sure that we're pressing our um, small of our back down in there so our core is activated. So I'm not hyper stretched here. I'm activated. I've got my arms spread out and I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to breathe out, um, push, force that air out of my lungs with my core contracting when I come up into this, this crunch. I'm going to show you the crunch first. So we're here and don't pull with your neck, just if you want your fingers here at your neck, I'm putting mine here so that you can have a better view of the move, then you're going to just gently touch the fingers to the side of your neck and you're going to and down, and down. Really think of bringing this rib cage to the center of your core since this is oblique movement and this, uh, this rib, this part of your rib cage to the center of your belly button. Okay, so right across the body. So again, we're gonna and down, and down. I'm not pulling with my upper body, I'm squeezing with my core, and down. You'll do all on one side and all on the other. The only difference with the sit-up is we're here, and then we're just going to, and down, and down. Like I said, that's not really a full sit-up. Um, we're never coming completely fully up, but we're just driving this elbow to this knee, and then you're going to switch. And you're going to do that for either time, if this is Tabata or HIT, or for reps and sets, if it's a straight uh, set workout. So, enjoy.